This is part of a series of videos exploring records of professional tennis players using the TennisOutlook.com site. The site is intended for both casual tennis fans and serious enthusiasts to visualize the records of professional tennis champions in the open era. This video compares the Bryan Brothers doubles team to the Woody's doubles team. In the summer of 2010, the Bryan Brothers doubles team surpassed the records set by the doubles team of Mark Woodford and Todd Woodbridge, the Woodies, for open era doubles team titles. As we see on the doubles tab, the Bryans currently hold 67 doubles titles together and the Woodies have 61 doubles team titles. What if we look at only Grand Slam tournaments? When we select the Grand Slam Tournaments radio button, we can see that the Woodies are in first place with 11 Open Era Grand Slam doubles titles together and are followed by the Bryans with 9 Grand Slam doubles team titles. The Bryans are close, but the Woodies are record holders for now in the Grand Slam category. While we're here, how do the men compare to the women record holders? If we go to all tournaments and filter for women's doubles teams, we see that the first place team of Martina Navratilova and Pam Shriver have 79 doubles team titles. The Bryans have a ways to go in order to catch up with that record. And what about the women's Grand Slam record? Selecting Grand Slam tournaments again, we find three women's teams with more Grand Slam team wins than either the Woodies or the Bryans. Navratilova and Shriver with 20, Gigi Fernandez and Natasha Zareba with 14, and Serena and Venus Williams with 12. Let's go back to comparing the Bryans and the Woodies and look at their individual doubles results. As we can see on the Overview tab, looking at men only and sorted by doubles titles, Todd Woodbridge holds the number one spot with 83 doubles titles, Mike Bryan has the fourth highest number of doubles titles at 69, and Mark Woodford and Bob Bryan are tied for fifth with 67 doubles titles each. Wow! Woodbridge won quite a few titles with partners not named Woodford. Let's see who those other partners were by looking at his champions page. If we scroll down the details page for Todd Woodbridge, we can see that Jonas Bjorkman appears a lot, as does Mark Woodford, but other names appear too. Let's look at his wins by doubles partners chart to see a breakdown of who else he's played with. Here we can see what percentage of Todd's 83 doubles titles he won with each partner. If we hover over the largest section, we can see that Todd won 61 titles with Woodford, which is 73.5% of his total doubles titles. Hovering over the next largest section, we see that he won 14 titles with Jonas Bjorkman for 16.9%. The other eight sections look the same size and if we hover over them we see that in fact each represents one win with each of Todd's other eight partners. Next, let's look at Mark Woodford's doubles partners chart. Back on the overview page we saw that Mark won 67 doubles titles so it we know that he won doubles titles with partners not named Woodbridge. If we hover over the largest section, we're told that Mark won 61 with Todd Woodbridge for 91% of his doubles titles. If we hover over the yellow section, we see that he won three titles with John McEnroe for 4.5% of his titles. And hovering the over, over the other three sections, we see that he won one title with each of his other three doubles partners. Now let's look at the Bryan brothers and their doubles partners. And we'll start with Mike. He 
His chart looks similar to Mark Woodford, but with fewer different partners. If we hover over the largest section, it shows us that he won 67 titles with Bob Bryan for 97.1% of his wins. That makes sense, since the overview page showed he has 69 doubles titles, and his record with Bob is for 67 titles. If we hover over the other two sections, we see that he has one title with each of his other two partners. Finally now, let's take a look at Bob's chart. Here's Bob's chart, pure and simple. He's won 100% of his 67 doubles titles with his brother Mike. If we hover over the chart, that's what we see. Now, how else might we look at these two teams? Let's go to the Compare tab and look at the current top doubles teams. This chart shows us the top 10 doubles teams for the 10 years ending in 2011. The team with the greatest number of titles is at the top, which is the Bryan brothers. No surprise since they have the doubles team record. The scale tells us that the largest bubble for the Bryans in 2007 and 2010 is for 11 wins each of those years. The next winningest teams, Knowles and Nestor and Nestor and Zimonich, had smaller wins almost every year during this 10-year period. Now, let's change the display year to look at the Woodies. Mark Woodford retired in 2000 so we'll look at the 10 years ending in 2000. Here we see that the Woodies are the top team on the chart and the scale for this chart tells us that the largest bubble was for the Woodies 12 wins in 1996. None of the other top 10 teams had comparably big years but the Woodies only went that big one year themselves. The next winningest team, Elting and Harhouse, had some years with more wins than the Woodies but the Woodies look pretty dominant for most of this 10-year span. What else might be an interesting comparison between the Bryans and the Woodies? Let's go back to the Overview tab and look at only Grand Slam tournaments. Here we find that Todd Woodbridge at the number one spot again with 16 Grand Slam doubles titles and Mark Woodford is second with 12. We know from the doubles tab that the Woodies won 11 Grand Slam doubles titles together, so they each won Grand Slams with other partners. The Bryans are in fourth place with nine Grand Slam doubles titles. Since the doubles tab showed them with nine Grand Slam doubles titles, that means all of their Grand Slams were together. Can we see who the Woodies partnered with to win their other Grand Slams? Let's look at the details page for Mark Woodford. On Woodford's details page, we can see listed all of his wins. Since Grand Slams are displayed in bold, we can scroll down the list to easily pick out the Grand Slams. All of the most recent Grand Slams are with Woodbridge. It isn't until we go back to 1989 that we find that Woodford won his first Grand Slam with John McEnroe at the U.S. Open. Now, let's do the same search for Todd Woodbridge. And let's start with the oldest wins for Todd and search forward to see his bolded Grand Slam wins. We see that his first Grand Slam was in 1992 at the Australian Open with Mark Woodford. After Woodford retired in 2000, then we see that he won five more Grand Slams between 2001 and 2004 with Jonas Bjorkman. We could explore more ways to compare these two great doubles teams, but we're out of time and besides, we want you to enjoy discovering things for yourself. And when you do discover something interesting, you can share it with your friends via Twitter, Facebook, or StumbleUpon, or bookmark it. Please visit us at www.tennisoutlook.com 
We're also on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook.